We continue our coronavirus coverage impacting families' decision-making in the Jackson Public School District as those reopened plans get finalized. Well, how are families feeling about the options unfolding? Here's Alex Love with the report. You've heard from politicians and officials at all government levels debating about how schools should safely reopen this fall to make sure students and teachers stay healthy. Now we talk to families right here in Jackson to hear what their experience has been and what they want to see going forward. With the state leaving most decisions on reopening schools to districts and pressure from the federal government to open on time, families like the Pattons in Jackson grew antsy. A lot of the parents had that feeling of, you know, what what to do next, you know, um, a little anxiety there, a little apprehension, you know, you're not really sure what to do. Since March, Kaklia Patton found herself raising and teaching all seven of her children who range from preschool to 12th grade. Like any parent, she sees the positives for why they should be back in the classroom. I'm just not wanting to uh, you know, separate them from being social with their peers and their teachers and everything. So I, I just think it's very important for children to be able to interact with other children so that they can learn. More than usual, her kids are showing high enthusiasm to go back. I'm just looking forward to like the season, like my soccer season, my football season. Looking forward to that. Getting my last year. I'm trying to show out. Trying to get looked at. I'm going to be wearing my mask, putting on hand sanitizer every day before I go to school. And when I go to the bathroom and eat, I stay six feet apart from them. The CDC has released guidelines for how schools can reopen safely, which includes reduced class sizes and no lunches in the cafeteria. The patents tell us JPS is offering everyone to only come in two to three days a week and take other courses online. We're not going to be fearful. We're not going to walk in fear. You know, I told my children, look, they're, they're all excited about school. I'm excited for them, and they're, they're ready to get on board. We reached out to Jackson Public Schools for more of a breakdown of their reopening plan, but they said they'll be releasing it later this week. For more districts who have already released their reopening plans, head over to our website, WJTV.com. Reporting in Jackson, Alex Love, 12 News. And we want to hear from you online. Do you feel it's safe for your child to return to school this fall amid the COVID-19 pandemic? You can submit your vote to let us know on our WJTV Facebook page. So far, the majority of you say no.